Hey guys, welcome to Jason Whiskey Wise. Me, Jason, bringing you another unboxing video, and today we have another order from Drinks by the Dram. I actually went and did another order, and we've got lots of drams to get through, so let's get into this unboxing. Let's get to it. So let's get into the unboxing of this. Alright, now we got our drams, let's actually get through and see which side is right, that's the back. So this hopefully should be the front. Okay, lovely. So, we're going to begin from front to back and I think I should know the order because I did place the order myself. We'll start off with the Hakushu over there. Now the Hakushu Distillers Edition, and this is the No Age Statement from Hakushu. A little bit of different style, it's from Suntory, uh, the same people that produced the Yamazaki, which actually leads us into the next one, the Yamazaki Distillers Edition. Now this actually gained a lot of popularity, uh, especially when the Yamazaki 12 went up in price. So uh, that's another one we're gonna be doing reviewing in our Japanese whiskey series. Uh, we've also got the Yamazaki 12 year old, which I've actually got two full bottles of. I picked them up 35 pounds each, an absolute steal. And uh, I can't wait to do the review into this one. I actually might do a giveaway on one of those Yamazakis because I really don't need both. Now we're going to move into our Scotch whiskies, which is going to start with the Cardu Gold Reserve. Now I've heard a lot of things with Cardu. I've not actually tried any of their whiskies, which does sound kind of bad, but decided to do an order of all of the Cardus. And uh, that will take us into the Cardu Amber Rock, which I've heard a lot of mixed responses about. Uh, one person told me it's absolutely a stunning whiskey, so I said I may as well try it myself. Bottled at 40% ABV. Next, we're going to move into their sort of more or less their age range. Um, starting off with the 12, very well known everywhere. You get this in uh, your local supermarkets, whiskey specialists. It's around about 28 to uh, 35 pounds for the bottle. Next up, the 15 year old, which is one I've been struggling to find and drinks by the dram, luckily had a dram of it, so I said that would be a great way to uncover exactly what's about this dram. Next up, the 18 year old, now this one, so many good reviews on the 18, so I decided, let me check this one out as well, bottled at 40% ABV, mainly used a lot by uh, Diageo in blends, so from there we're going to move to Isla, where they're going to start with Buna Harbin's. Um, Oloroso cast. Now that's got such a beautiful colour to it. It's a gorgeous looking dram. I tried this one in central London um, in Melroy's and it was just an absolute stunner so I had to get myself a dram and I'm probably going to buy myself a bottle. Um, there's also the 18 year old again another really really interesting whiskey uh, which actually has gone up by 20 pounds. So if you any of you buy um, the Buna Harbin 18 you'll see from 76 pounds it's gone up all the way to around about uh, 96 pounds, so a very sharp increase in its price. Next up is the 25 from Buna Harbin. This one comes in a stunning wooden box and another one that's also gone up by almost 60 pounds in its regular price, so crazy prices at the minute. Some of these are going up quite a lot. Now we're going to go back to Speyside, which is Balvenie's 12 year old uh, single barrel. Now, this one here, another whiskey that I really wanted to try. I've tried a lot of Balvenie. Uh, the 12 single barrel, I believe, is a bourbon cask. So again, that one is bottled at 47.8% ABV. Now we're going to go to Macallan. And because I like to do a lot of travel retail whiskies, I've got the Select Oak. Uh, and then I've got also here now the Whiskey Makers Edition. So specially designed by the whiskey maker, they bring out these limited sort of unique style boxes, which Macallan, you know, has for each of the whiskey makers. I believe there's six to represent the six pillars of Macallan. Uh, then you've got the Estate Reserve. Now this is nothing shy of £200 minimum. Um, the Estate Reserve is pretty much the top of the range from the Macallan Travel Retail. It's uh, bottled at 45.7% ABV. Next up we have the Tom and Tool 12 year old Portwood. Now I'm a big fan of Port and Madeira at the minute so this is one I had to not go and miss. And I've got the regular, I believe regular 14 um, I think I've also got the 16, but I haven't tried the Portwood from the 12. And I actually saw a bottle in one of the shops in London and I was kind of tempted to buy it. Who knows, I might go back and pick it up after this one. Uh, we've got the Tom and Tool 15 Portwood. Now it doesn't actually say Portwood on it, but if you look at the color on this whiskey, you'll see it's got a nice sort of salmon pinkish hue in it, which is a gorgeous finishing from the port cast and quite a light style as well. 
Tom and Tor. Uh, next up, we're going to go to Glen Morangi with the 18 year old. And uh, as you know, I like my Glen Morangis. I've tried a lot of them. I own pretty much almost every bottle. Um, 18 is one that I was thinking about whether to upgrade from um, some of my travel retail ones and just go with the core uh, age one from the 18. Next up is the Admit, uh, Winter's Night Dram. Now I've got a full bottle which you'll see when I do my review. I actually got it for £27, the full bottle, which was a really good buy. Um, and uh, I thought buy a dram, if I enjoy it then I'll open the bottle. If not, I'll probably be saying goodbye to that one. Next up we're going to the Isla Sky, which is the Talisker Port Rogue. Uh, this one here is a port cask finish to Talisker's natural style and very nice sort of sweet but at the same time a salty smoky character. Next up we're going to the Nice Point which is an interesting one mainly for travel retail priced at between 90 to 140 pounds uh, depending on where in the world you pick it up from but I heard great things from this whiskey so I want to discover it myself. Um, along with you guys and take you throughout the whole journey. Next, another travel retail is the Altmore 18. And if you guys do love your travel retail whiskies, you know, do check out Drinks by the Dram because that's where I'd say is the best place to check out all of them and uh, give them a try at least. So the Altmore 18, another travel retail uh, from the Altmore range, which I'm a big fan of. And I've tried the 12 and the 21 so far. So 18 is going to be a really nice one to uh, do a comparison. I might do a vertical tasting with all three of them. Next up, we have another port cask finish, uh, the Aaron port cask over there. Now, this one's got such a beautiful, I just love port cask finishes. They just look so insane. A uh, bottle at 50%, and I think that was also two more Aarons. Okay, excellent. They're all right. So, Aaron Madeira cask. So, this is one that I finished a whole bottle off when I was drinking in central London. Drink responsibly, but I just love the Madeira cask finish. It's, just, it's very good value for money with Aaron's whiskies. Also at 50%. And then the final one is the Saturn's Dessert Wine Cask, which competes with uh, Glen Morangi's Nectar Door. And this one here bottled at 50% ABV as well. So that should conclude all 24 drams. 24 of them. So we're going to get into doing the reviews. This month we're actually going to have a lot of reviews. Uh, Going to literally just rechange the way I'm doing everything, focus a lot more on the YouTube side and less on the blog, and you'll see uh, lots more video reviews. But on that note, I'm going to wrap the video up here. Be sure to check out unboxing number one, unboxing number two there. Be sure to click my subscribe button if you haven't already. I've got close to, yeah, around about 72 drams to review. So I've got two more of these at home and another one on the way, which has got some really expensive ones. So I'll catch you guys for the next video. This has been Jason from Whiskey Wise, and I'll catch you all for the next video.